Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books. Well, today we're talking about the panic over at Disney. There are massive cutbacks coming. The massive cutbacks are going to include layoffs. They're going to include spending less money on content, less money on promotion, reducing employees' ability to even have travel expenses for business. They're not even going to be allowed to go to business conventions without prior permission. This is a, a massive, massive cutback. Now, JPEG says that this was alluded to or mentioned in their most re recent uh, conference call where they're talking about their quarterly results, which were terrible. Um, and they said that they're going to be looking at uh, their cost structure and trying to be more efficient, but they didn't have these types of specifics. These specifics are um, very serious. You know, Warner Brothers Discovery has been doing cutbacks and they've done it in a very, very classy way where they coordinated with the managers most times of, of Warner Media. They kept almost all the managers in place and just went to them and said, hey, look, we need to save some money here. We got to cut some costs. We don't think you guys are as efficient as you need to be. And they worked with the managers at Warner Media that are now part of Warner Brothers Discovery and they came up with the plans together and they were effective. But uh, Chapek here is basically saying, hey, look, he's got a memo. We'll go over the memo. We'll go over the article. He's basically saying, we need to do what Warner Brothers Discovery did, but we kind of need to do it like super immediately. And they're just freaking everybody out. And why is this coming up now? Because very recently, they lost $1.4 billion. So over the course of three months, $1.4 in their direct-to-consumer business, which is all their streaming services. And how could they possibly, how could they be getting all these subscribers, their number two supposedly to Netflix, last year, the same three, three months, the same period, they lost $600 million some dollars. Now it's $1.4 That's not, first of all, no, I don't believe them. I think that they're hiding other costs, and this is just me, but um, I think they are hiding other costs and they've restructured their costs to dump some of them in the direct-to-consumer division because it was kind of understood and permitted by the market over the last you know, two, three, four years that it was okay for streaming services as long as you had more subscribers. You could lose as much money as you want. It's all good. Well, that was like a long time ago, Bob JPEG. That was like before uh, Netflix had to restructure. And Netflix had to go and announce, oh, we're going to lose all these subscribers. We don't kind of know how things are going. We're focusing on cash flow now. They have major, major problems, Netflix, but they have even more major problems at Disney. Let's get into this article. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up when you like it. You guys have been great. The channel's really growing. I really appreciate you, sincerely. Disney plans targeted hiring freeze, staff reductions, and cost structure task force. Hiring freeze, what's that mean? That means not hiring new people unless absolutely necessary. Staff reductions, that's layoffs. That's, oh, sorry, we don't need you anymore. Bye. Uh, and cost structure task force. A cost structure task force is a, a group of people that are there to absolutely, as enforcers, make sure that the cuts happen. And they will take, in this case with Disney, the final decision on what needs to be done to save money. Uh, so, CEO Bob Chapek also said the company is undertaking a rigorous review of the company's content and marketing spending. So yeah, you know what? Uh, don't count on that She-Hulk uh, 2 season. Probably not going to happen because unless there's some way, and they need to do this now because they've been spending like mad men and women on content over there at Disney and saying, oh, like Kareem Daniels, their head of distribution, uh, saying, oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. We're not, you know, if people don't like the content right away, it's okay. You know, we're going to have this in our library forever. So they have that sort of ridiculous mentality that they don't have to have accountability. And that's the big problem with streaming is, you know, you, you don't have a box office when you have streaming. So there's an ability to do kind of whatever you want with the content. They figure the subscribers are trapped, but apparently they're not. They're not trapped. And uh, this marketing spending, you know, they have marketing spending problems where they're spending money just the same as they're doing with content on marketing and promotion that isn't necessarily delivering results for them. Incredible. The Walt Disney Company is looking to cut costs. In a memo to senior executives Friday afternoon obtained by The Hollywood Reporter, Disney CEO Bob Chapek outlined new efforts to save on expenses, including a targeted hiring freeze, likely staff reductions, which they then later go on to say they will be staff reductions, so he's not even upfront with people, a cost structure task force, and a rigorous review of the company's content and marketing spending. So they're looking to drastically cut their overhead, the costs, uh, rent, salaries, promotion, in addition to actual content costs. Chapex memo comes as Disney, like all other major media entertainment and technology players, look to slim down or otherwise save cash 
amid a difficult macroeconomic environment with advertising hit particularly hard. On the company's fiscal fourth quarter earnings call earlier this week, Disney CFO Christine McCarthy told analysts, we're actively evaluating our cost base currently and we're looking for meaningful efficiencies when asked about the cost-cutting efforts. Chapek's memo builds off that with more specificity. For starters, Chapek, McCarthy, and General Counsel Horatio Gutierrez will make up the company's cost structure task force, which will make the critical picture decisions necessary to achieve our objectives, per Chapek. The task force will drive this work in partnership with segment teams to achieve both savings and organizational enhancements. He added, as we work through this evaluation process, we will look at every avenue of operations and labor to find savings, and we do anticipate some staff reductions as part of this review. So they are laying people off. It's not a maybe. In the meantime, Disney is implementing a targeted hiring freeze with only business critical roles being filled and business travel is being restricted to essential travel only. Quote, I'm fully aware that this will be a difficult process for many of you and your teams. JPEG wrote, we're going to have to make tough and uncomfortable decisions, but that is just what leadership requires. And I thank you in advance for stepping up during this important time. Boy, wouldn't you love to work for Bob JPEG? On the content side, while we will not sacrifice quality or the strength of our unrivaled synergy machine, we must ensure our investments are both efficient and come with tangible benefits to both audiences and the company. You would think that they might have been doing that already, right? The memo from Chapek comes amidst a tumultuous time for media with every major player in the space looking to cut costs. NBC Universal has offered early retirement packages to long-serving employees, while Warner Bros. Discovery has been undergoing cuts in its various divisions ever since Discovery merged with Warner Media in the spring. Executives at Paramount have also signaled that cost-cutting efforts are coming, with some anticipated to happen before the end of the year. And I'm going to give you a link to this so you can see Chapek's full memo if you want to read his full memo. I will say this, I absolutely don't trust Chapek. I think that um, he doesn't know what he's doing. I think that the way that Chapek announces they're going to be handling this between Chapek, the CFO, and the other person, and they're going to sort of sit on top of people. It's not really clear what their objectives are. They're desperate to save money. Um, the other good thing for them is instead of doing what Bob Chapek looks like he did, which is taking all of their operating losses and then putting them into the streaming service division so they can say, oh, streaming services weren't going well, but don't worry, in a couple of years, it's going to go well. They'll be able to take what's called um, a, ch uh, a large one-time charge. Um, I think I said in my video two days ago when they were talking about losing all this money on streaming that you're going to see probably some five or $10 billion charge of restructuring from Disney because they're hiding a lot of mess. You could just feel it. They're not admitting it. Well, they're starting to admit that they're inefficient, but I can just sense it, that there's something really wrong inside of Disney. It's not just what they're doing to brands, which is horrendous. The structure is just not right. The people are not uh, forthcoming about what they're doing. They don't uh, invite accountability for what they're doing, even though they have very important uh, positions. And the way they communicate with their employees, this, this memo is terrible. You've seen pieces of it. I've read pieces of it. I'll make sure again that you have a link to it so you can check it out for yourself. Tell me what you think of all this uh, in the comments below. Did you see this coming? Did you think that Disney was going to be laying people off and talking about massively cutting their overhead? Because that's what they're talking about. They're not talking about cutting their overhead by 5% or 3% or if we could just accomplish 6 and 1 half percent. Warner Brothers Discovery is cutting their overhead. They already cut it, I think, 11%. By the end of this year, of, of 2020, they're going to be like cutting down to 20% of their overhead. Okay. So one of the discoveries is already deep into this process, but did you think they were going to do this at Disney? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up when you like it. And I will see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.